पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड में हाल ही में पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट टीम के सबक हेड कोच मिकी आर्थर की टीम डायरेक्टर के अहदे पर तैनाती की गई है मिकी आर्थर 2016 से 2019 तक पाकिस्तानी टीम के हेड कोच रह चुके हैं इस दौरान पाकिस्तान टीम ने 2017 में चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी जीती और टी की टॉप टीम भी रही मिकी आर्थर इस वक्त इंग्लिश काउंटी क्रिकेट क्लब डार्बी शायर के हेड कोच की जिम्मेदारियां भी निभा रहे हैं चंद रोज कबल मिकी आर्थर ने पाकिस्तान का दौरा किया और अपने अहदे का बाकायदा चार्ज संभाला दौरे के दौरान उन्होंने टीम मैनेजमेंट और खिलाड़ियों से मुलाकातें भी की जबकि इनकी मुशावरत से पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड ने टीम के नए कोचिंग स्टाफ की तैनाती भी कर दी है मिकी आर्थर की बतौर टीम डायरेक्टर तैनाती और इनके काम के हाइब्रिड तरीकाकार के हवाले से पी और चेयरमैन नजम सेठी को बाज सबक खिलाड़ियों और तजियाकारों की तनकीद का भी सामना करना पड़ा है मिकी आर्थर इन दिनों वापस डार्बीशायर क्रिकेट क्लब आ चुके हैं काउंटी के साथ इनका चार साल का मुआदा है जिसका भी दूसरा बरस है डार्बीशायर काउंटी क्रिकेट ग्राउंड में मिकी आर्थर ने जियो न्यूज़ को खूस तौर पर दिए गए एक तफसी इंटरव्यू में मुस्तबिल में टीम के हवाले से अपने प्लान समेत कई अहम सवाल के जवाब दिए इस इंटरव्यू के लिए मामनत और सहूलियात फराम करने के लिए हम डार्बी शायर काउंटी क्रिकेट क्लब की इंतजामिया के खसूस तौर पर शुक्र गुजार हैं थैंक यू सो मच मिकी फॉर योर टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लास्ट ईयर आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन इफ आफर्ड विल यू कंसिडर कोचिंग अगेन द पाकिस्तान टीम नेवर से नेवर Never say never. Had you ever thought that you will be back with PCB within few months? No, 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 no. I, I didn't because, yeah, as you as you know, you know things change very quickly in in Pakistan, um, and and you know these things these things get thrown up. But you know it was just it was just too good an opportunity for me to turn down. But I'm very invested in my project here at Derbyshire, and I, and and I think I, I think. once the pcb understood that and and allowed me to the 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 um the latitude to 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 maintain my role here but but become the team director and and have and and have a lot of um uh sway and responsibility with the, with the pakistan team it was it was a perfect match it also allows me the, the, with the schedules it's very doable so i can finish the season and go to the world cup and go on the test tour to australia um there's a there's a west indies test test tour early in the new year and then there's nothing because it's psl and then you know it allows me to come back and make sure my efforts are 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 yeah so it's something that i think is very doable um because of the schedules and uh and it's something that that that, that i'm really enjoying you said is doable but there's been lots of criticism since you took over that's the hybrid uh, arrangement will not uh, benefit pakistan cricket so do you have any plan in mind to how you will make it work yeah i've 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 got it in mind that the whole support staff there has been put there by me they they report into me every day i'm I, i i'm all over them every day i understand what's what's happening in the team i have communication with the captain with all the players every day so um so it's working it's 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 working it's working really well um and then it also allows me to be totally hands on once once the season ends here so i th- i think i think as i say i think it's very very doable um and uh, pakistan number one in the world so it's things are going well you recently visited pakistan and met the players how was the interaction and what did you say to them oh, i was fantastic i uh, i loved the interaction Uh first thing I said was I left them as as young very talented boys some very very talented creators and when I looked around the room they had those young boys had grown into men they all had wives most of them and they they had developed nice big egos and they started backing themselves so um so that that was my first my, my first interaction with them um but it was so good to see them it so was they must be very happy to see you they were very happy to see me and I was very happy to see them I've got great relationships with them Pakistan recently defeated New Zealand in ODI series but the T20 series ended in a draw so are you satisfied with team's performance Yeah I think so I I I think not at T20s we were two nil up in a five match series I expected us to win that because with the with the talent that we have in Pakistan we expect to win all our games um but I think but I think that they were very very good in um they have been very good in the one day series um no no I'm comfortable obviously our focus is very much now on the world cup the 50 over world cup so our focus is very much on getting that 50 over team right to make a really concerted effort and challenge at the at the world cup um in October 
Your last assignment with the Pakistan team was in 2019 World Cup and now your big assignment as a director will be in 2023 uh, World Cup. So do you think the Pakistan team will uh, do better than before? Ah, look, I, 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 I firmly believe that the, with the talent we have at our disposal, I, I, I firmly believe that this is a team that, um, that can win the World Cup. I, I really do. I think, I think the talent that Pakistan has is, 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 is fantastic and I'm really excited to see them, uh, see how far they can go, but I'm also really excited to be able to play a role in those players' development again. Before the World Cup in India in October, the ODI matches Pakistan team is due to play in uh, Asia Cup, which we even don't know is going to take place or not. So are you working with PCB for any backup plans? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we've, um, we've, we've put a whole schedule together in terms of camps. Um, we, we've identified areas that we think we need to work on, um, particularly through the, the middle overs, our, our ability to play spin, our ability to hit sweepers. We, we're having a look at our finishers, guys who can come in and, and finish and really hit the ball out the, out the ground. Um, and then just continuing to work on our, uh, our, our um, bench strength in terms of our bowling depth. And, and we, we, we've got some wonderful bowlers there. So we'll have camps all the way through, all the, way through the, um, the, the sort of off period now. A lot of the players come over here actually now to play. You know, Shaheen Shah Afridi is just down the road. We've got Hassan Ali over there. We've got um, Shadab Khan coming. Um, so, so, we, so we, we, we've, we've got a fair amount of those young Pakistan boys that are going to be playing over here, which allows me to go and, uh, and just catch up with them as well and just to make sure that they, they're doing what we want them to do and, and that they're all on the right track. I will refer you again what you told me about Sir Faraz Ahmed last year. I loved working with Safraz and, and Safraz and I had, had, a, had a really special bond. Um, you know, he came to see me the other day here in Derby and you know, we, we, we spent a day together and um, yeah, he's, a, he's a, just a wonderful, wonderful man and I've got so many special memories of the time that I spent with Safraz and it's all very, very happy memories. Have you spoken to him recently? Uh, he's in your uh, plan for uh, ICC World Cup? Oh, look, I've touched base with Safraz. Uh, you know, Safraz and I have a great relationship. Um, I've, touched, I've touched base with him. Um, uh, as far as, you know, if there's so many people in the, in, in the shake-up for that 50-over for that World Cup. So, um, so, no, we haven't spoken about that explicitly at, at the time, but I've, I have caught up with Safraz because you know, him and I go back a long way. We've got a really good relationship. In the last year and a half, Pakistan team have failed to win the home test series, not even one test match. They lost versus Australia, drew versus uh, New Zealand and trashed by England. So what's not going right with the test team? I don't know. And that, and that's, and, and that is, a, is a priority for us. Um, you know, it's a, new, it's a new chapter now that starts the test team. We've got a tour of Sri Lanka in, in July, um, which, so that World Test Championship starts again in effect. So that is a real focus of ours. We, we, we do have to play and find a brand of cricket at test level that's going to compete with the best because it is, a, it, it is an area that, um, that needs, uh, needs a lot of work. Last year when I asked you about Babar Azam captaincy, this was your reply. I, I think the talent that they have at their disposal, um, Pakistan will be in the top in the top two or three in international cricket consistently because they've just got so many good players. I mean, it's wonderfully led now by Baba Azam. Um, you know, I, I just get so proud when I watch Baba Azam bat, uh, having watched him develop from a, young, from a young boy into the man that he is now. And to see him leading that team, um, you know, fills me with a lot of pride because, you know, I played, it might have played just a little part in, in his development. And to watch him now is, uh, makes me very, very happy. There's some criticism over Baba Azam's style of captaincy. So what's your take on it? Yeah, no, I, I, I saw Baba now when I was, when I was in, in, in Pakistan. I think he's doing a wonderful job. I think he's started to make that, that position his own. I think um, tactically he's, he's getting better. His batting is, is again going from strength to strength. So I think Bob is doing a, is doing a really good job at the minute. Uh, Mohammed Abbas did really well in last couple of years for Hampshire in county cricket, but being ignored by the Pakistani selectors. Do you think he can make a comeback in the test squad? Yeah, I've been watching Mohammed Abbas. I think Mohammed Abbas is a great bowler. I think he's a very, very good bowler. I think in certain conditions, he's he becomes he becomes very, very good. So um, 
yeah, uh, he will certainly be considered for, for selection going forward, without a doubt. So when you are going to travel Pakistan again, and uh, do you have any short-term goals and long-term plans? Yeah, of course I have. I, I, I've, got, I've, got a lot of, I've got a lot of plans with Pakistan, as I do with Derbyshire. Um, and it keeps me, keeps me nice and incredibly busy. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I have. You know, I, I wouldn't be able to share them now. I need to share them with the team first. But, um, yeah, we do. We have, we, we have a, a lot of goals that we, and a lot of things that we want to achieve together. There were media reports that you are thinking to bring Yasser Arafat as a bowling coach, uh, who is also ECB qualified coach, but that didn't happen. So, what made you change your mind? No, it, it, it was just circumstances. You know, I just looked at, at 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 what we had available. I looked at what the what the team needed for that for for that particular time, um, and and um, and and then and then try to put together stuff that I think is going to really benefit the players going forward because it's a really really talented bunch of players there and 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 they've just got to I always say given the the roots to grow and the wings to fly but they need to have a stable good support structure around them which I know they have now and I know that they are feel a lot more stable I I, I know that they they feel consistency in terms of selection and I know that they get absolute honesty and clarity from them because of the relationship I have with each and every one of them. So I'm very comfortable that it's going okay at the minute. What are your expect expectations from the WSHI this year then? My expectations are always, are always to A, play the best cricket we possibly can, B, to see players progress and players grow and players get better and better. I think I think I think that's fundamentally very important um, for me, but also also yeah we we we've got we've set ourselves goals we we want to achieve some 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 goals we want to achieve um, some some good positive results we want to get promoted we you know we we are an ambitious county and I think I think we have to maintain that ambition and um, you know because that way our players get better we we attract better players and 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 we can build a really good winning team down the line. Last year you signed Shan Masood and this year Heather Ali. Seems you want to bring Pakistani player every year at Derbyshire. No, I, I just I just look at, at what I think would would be a good fit for for our club, what I think would be a good fit in terms of our budget as well, and and also you know I know the the, the good young Pakistan players that that maybe are not known around around um, the the county circuit, so. I, I see it as a two-way street. It a helps helps Derbyshire immensely, um, but b we also we also um, help players develop their games and develop their their careers in in different in different conditions, um, and 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 hopefully so hopefully it's a win-win for for, um, for 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 both parties. So how satisfied you are with the uh, Heather Ali's performance so far? Yeah, Hader's been good. Hader's growing. Hader's getting better. He's Hader's starting to understand his game. He's starting to to manage his innings as a lot better. So, so I've got no doubt that he's going to be. He's he's a, he's an exceptional talent. We've always known that. Um, what he needs to learn was a tempo of his innings. He needs to learn how to manage his innings and um, his innings is manage his batting. Um, and he's and he's doing that. I, I see. I see a guy that's growing in a, in a, in, a, in a really good professional environment. So. No, I'm I'm very happy where he's at at the moment. So, do you, lastly, do you have any words for Mr. Najim Sethi? Ah, oh, look, Mr. Najim Sethi and me go back a hell of a long way. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this job now if it wasn't for um, Mr. Sethi and, and the relationship I have with 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 Mr. Sethi. We've uh, we, we, we've 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 shared a lot of highs and uh, and some lows together, and uh, our relationship is exceptionally good. And I think he's a wonderful man who's doing a wonderful job. Mickey, wonderful to speak to you. Thank you so much for your time and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.